All right, I've got a problem with my microwave. The fuse keeps blowing while it's microwaving or when I open the door. So here's kind of what's happening. That's yeah, just popping. Before you start doing anything with the microwave, make sure you unplug it. On this specific GE model, there's a screw here, right here, here, and then one on this panel right here. So take out these two screws and then just kind of give this a gentle pry out. And then this is, there's a screw here and then one behind this panel as well. So go ahead and take both those out. First thing you want to check is up here, there's a 20 amp fuse. Take a look, see if that one's still intact. If that's still intact, then these switches are your next most likely culprit. Once you have this piece out, you can test the switches. And the best way to do that is take your screwdriver and test these, make sure they're actually uh, clicking. These work, and this, this is the bad one right here. So you can see that one is fused together. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. And you wanna do that by depressing this little tab here and pulling it out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. And the replacement piece I got off Amazon, it's like $4. There's a link below in the description I'll take you straight there. Okay, so I've got my new switch. It's working. I'm gonna go ahead and install this here. And it goes in like so. All right, now let's reassemble this. Okay, so we got a new switch put in. We're gonna go ahead and reinstall this. And this is kind of tricky to get back in. But basically you want to just kind of fold it around the corner like that. Okay, and then there's a little, obviously every microwave is different, but there's a little knob right there, a little tab right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and screw these in right here. Okay, I've got this screwed back in. I have these three, um, I've got these three plugged back in. I'm gonna go ahead and test the door, make sure that all works out great. And then I'm gonna plug back in this into this uh, circuit board back here. And then we'll get everything screwed back together. I've got those back in this back in. All right, we're all back together. And looks like we're good to go. Hope you found this helpful. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And there's links below in the description for all the uh, replacement parts I use. Thanks for watching.